Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And today we've got a new thing. This is a brand new thing. I don't think I've ever reviewed one of these before and it looks pretty cool. I'm just looking at it from different angles. Let's get in there and have a closer look at it. It is a Sharwood's curry and rice chicken jiao frazi. Perfect. We got a fill line. Let's go through the instructions. And what do we have here? Uh, we have place pot on a solid flat surface, pour boiling water to the fill line, gently stir, leave for two minutes, gently stir, leave for three more minutes. So it's five minutes and it's rice. As you can hear, it's full of rice and uh, this should be interesting. Chicken jiao frazi is one of my favorite curries, along with uh, Chandori's chicken shashlik. So let's see what we end up with. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. Make sure the kettle is freshly boiled. Oh. Oh, paper. Everything's made of paper apart from the foil at the top. Very eco-friendly, but left a bit of a rough edge opening it. The rice is that pre-cooked rice that, I don't know if you've seen this, looks like Rice Krispies. And get it right in there and show you. It looks like Rice Krispies. Let me turn another light on. It's like, I don't think there's enough light here to really show you what's inside there. Alexa, kitchen lights 100%. Alexa, kitchen lights white. All sorts of odd colors going on there, sorry about that. Yeah, well, right. Now you should be able to see, ah, there we go. If you can see that, they're like little Rice Krispies. Let me pull one out. So they're like tiny little Rice Krispies. Still rice, but I think it's uh, deep fried. So it's, uh, I kind of like, guess, uh, I guess similar chemical thing this happens to uh, rice noodles when they're deep fried and dry and de desiccated and then you put boiling water on them. So the fill line isn't actually, Oh, it is visible. So the fill line on the inside is different from the fill line on the outside. If you can see that, the fill line on the inside and the outside are at different levels by about a centimeter. I'll go by the one on the inside. Wow, that's a lot of bubbling. There we are. Give it a stir. That's pretty instruction. Wow, it smells good. Wow, that is a very heavy curry smell. Oh, and the color it's gone is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. 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 Wow. That's actually pretty impressive tasting. Not too bad at all. I'm liking that. So anyway, I have just have a sip of coffee here. Now, that flavour goes well with coffee, obviously. But the other thing is, it just genuinely tastes like a chicken jar phrasing. It's very tomatoey, very rich, and very very interesting. Yeah, I have another minute to wait. Um, these um, new instant rice dishes are interesting. I'm curious as to the process, but it appears the rice has been probably cooked and then dehydrated somehow. Now, I wonder if it's cooked in water then dehydrated or whether it's fried so as the proteins and so on have cooked and then you're rehydrating it with the boiling water and bringing it to a similar state that it would be like. I would say that cooking it in water and then dehydrating it is more dangerous. You can remember there is some very dangerous food poisoning which grows on rice endemically, which you have to, with manufacturing processes, you have to be very, very, very careful how you treat them. Because it's also the type of food poisoning where the food poisoning itself is done by a chemical secreted by the bacteria, right? And this bacteria is endemic, it's everywhere. It's like in the environment everywhere and rice left out will get this bacteria on. But if you reheat the rice, killing the bacteria, the toxin it leaves behind that gives you the food poisoning is still active because it's not killed or denatured by boiling. 
So rice is a very dangerous thing to reheat. Just for that reason. Wow, look at that. It's really thick and gloopy as well. Good red color going on there. Smells fantastic. I'm actually looking forward to this one. This one actually is interesting me. Mm. We've hit the two minute stage. Give it another stir and take another cheeky clean of the spoon. Wow. I don't know if you can see that in the sauce there, but you can see some you can see the color and the sort of cayenne pepper sort of type. Mmm. Mmm. That does actually taste good. Wow. This will be one of those things that goes to work with me, I think when uh, the whole, uh, what, what was it my favorite channel, uh, one of my favorite channels calls it, uh, human malware is over and the pandemic has ended and I'm back in the office eating. This will be one of the things I take with me to eat at lunchtime. If I'm not going out for lunch, uh, which is not very likely to happen, pouring boiling water over something and waiting for five minutes is a really good way of spending your lunch break um, if you're gonna be reading newspapers or so, or watching YouTube videos. Mm-hmm, still waiting. I think we'll give it another 30 seconds and we'll have had the, in, given the length of the video, I believe we've probably had this in boiling water for nearly five minutes now. Let's just give it a couple more minutes and see where we're at. I'm also gonna pick the camera up, take it over and give you a really good look of what it looks like inside because honestly, the angles I've got so far just are not doing it justice. Wow, it's impressive. There. It, it, it honestly tastes a lot better than it looked and it does actually taste really nice. Mm. So here we go, first mouthful with the rice. Mm. Mm. The rice is a little rubbery, but the heat, wow. Wow, an impressive building heat. Wow. Mm. Not too spicy to eat for a lunch, but pretty good. Mm. Nice. Mmm. There's definitely um, star anise in this I can smell. Cumin, co coriander, it's very, very... Mmm. It's a very authentic curry flavor. Lots of different ingredients you'd expect in a very good quality curry. Mmm. This is a better quality curry than you'd get in, say, you know, uh, a jar that you're making curry sauce with. Po possibly it would be one like a premium one like you get from Sherwood. This is a very good ingredient. Mmm, this is nice. Mmm. Wow, I recommend that one. And look at this. Ticks all the healthy boxes on the way down. Just the salt, it's slightly high on. Fat, 3%. Saturates three percent. It's really well done, really well done. Energy's not too bad either. Definitely something I'll take for work when we're back. Wow! Thanks for watching. Please uh, hit the like button if you can, and please subscribe to the channel if you're not so already. Thanks for watching. Bye.